Welcome back. Ashiana, an initiative of Fomento, held an annual dance program by special children of Ashadip School at Vasco. The children trained by a renowned artist, Mamta Hussain, enthralled the audience. Director of Fomento Resources, Anuj Timlo, and Deputy Collector of Sports and Youth Affairs, Juliana Klasu, graced the occasion. Anuj Timlo appreciated the work of these kids. The, the children who performed here today and Mamtaji, they together are closer to God than we can ever hope to be. And we have to learn from them more than, them, more than we can ever teach them on what, what is right and what is good about doing things every day. Deputy Collector of Sports and Youth Affairs, Juliana Klaso, congratulated Mamta Hussain, her staff and Pomento Resources for the event. Congratulations to Madam Mamta and all her staff and her teachers. And of course, this is all with the support of Pomento Resources. Our reporter from Vasco, Surendra Matkaikar. Now, news from sports. The Pro Badminton League tournament is in its second edition this year. This tournament is aimed at boosting the sport of badminton by involving corporates and businessmen from the state. The tournament has been conceived with the idea of motivating the players and help them give their best. However, it seems that our players are just not ready to change their indiscipline approach to the sport. This needs to change if Goa has to qualify for national games in the near future. It is commendable that Panjim Badminton Club, supported by Sports Authority of Goa and Goa Badminton Association, have roped in some big names to sponsor teams in the league for the second consecutive year. The matches were supposed to start at 7 pm on Wednesday, but the appalling timekeeping by the concerned teams meant that there was a long delay before action began. It was only natural that people who had come on time were getting agitated with the delayed start. The main point here is that Goa has always been underperformers in badminton despite having great facilities to train with. Sources told Prudent that there is a gross indiscipline amongst players as they hardly show interest in perfecting their game. The big question now is if such attitude persists. How can we improve and qualify for national games when it comes to Goa? The players should take this issue very seriously and work hard to improve their standard. Just the sports policy participation marks benefit should not be the motivation, rather it should be the performance to win medals that should be the target. The matches started at 8 pm and when the action finally began, there were some very exciting moments like these. The players must rise to the occasion and give their 100% in every aspect of the sport. They must keep in mind that discipline is the key to success and the way they behave tells a lot how they look at the sport. Goa needs the high performers in order to win the medals at the national level. A sports editor Neeraj Prabhu with video journalist Sunny Narvekar from Panaji. And with this we come to an end of this bulletin. Take care and keep watching Prudent Media. Thank you.